Hey, hey, Singapore! Congee or porridge is the comfort food for most people. I, for one, love my porridge, especially those thick and slurpy delicious ones. You know, I gao gao eh leh. Hey, uncle, zhuk ji wa ha, ge liao ko da ge neng. Must not forget add extra ingredients and also the egg also. Today, we'll be meeting with the founder of Singji Porridge. Wait, Singji Congee. Ayah, same lah. In the short space of six years, he has opened up four stores and is now actively looking for his fifth and sixth store. Pretty successful, huh? Well, he's an enterprising entrepreneur who makes entrepreneurs out of other people. Let us have a chat with him before we head on down to his flagship store at Geylang Baru Hawker Centre. For guess what? Porridge! Wait, what's it congee? Hmm. Hi, my name is David Nick, founder of Sinji Konji. Uh, we sell all kinds of porridge and a variety of claypot specialties. 2014, I was released from prison for second trafficking. After that, I helped my brother-in-law in his Thai food, learning all the cutting skills and for knife while getting my hands cut, of course. Then 2017, I got to know my wife. That's where we started our own porridge business till now. Actually, I did my O-levels in prison and I did quite well. But to be honest, I believe in present society, people will not really want to hire us who are ex-offenders with tattoos and bad records. So I told myself that I want to take up a skill to force myself to improve, not to earn money, but to prove to people that we as ex-offenders can do better than even people who study or do other things. To be honest, working as a hawker, I think one of the worst things we have to overcome is tiredness. You have to work for 12 to 16 hours a day and it's really having to stay there the whole day looking after the store. Another one I would say is getting good workers who actually, it's very hard as you expand, you need more workers. But it's really very hard for you to have workers to, who get along well. So I have to accommodate to them such that this one do want to work with that one, that one do want to work with this one, which is in human nature, we don't have a choice. It's really hard to accommodate everyone. Really, it all comes down to the word discipline. For tiredness, we don't have a choice. We run a business, we work, we have to wake up early. If you cannot make it, you still got to force yourself. As for the worker part, I do my part to try to get them to get along well. Like if they really cannot, sometimes no choice, I have to go down and help run from one store to the other store to help each other, then accommodate to them. That's, that's the thing, the best I can do like, as, as a so-called boss uh, for them. Okay, COVID-19 actually really hit us quite bad as hawker because during the circuit breaker time, my sales went down to like 30-40% to and it doesn't really cover even the salary and the ingredients that we use. But to think of it in a good point that my workers and I went through all this, they understand that we went through a hard time, we worked through it and I think we survived it through like getting them paid, their actual salary without deducting and we of course, nobody, but we went through it happily. Lah. We bonded us together. Lah. We had some time together sitting down there waiting for customers to come, which is something sad and good at the point. The way I run my business usually is actually I will find a new store. I will teach one worker who I trust everything about the store, what he should do and what he should prepare. Then when I think that he is stable enough, that's where I will give full management of the store then I will just collect a very small goodwill fee from there. So I think that will be the toughest challenge to find someone whom I can really trust and who is willing to do the job. Okay, actually what I love most about my job, maybe I would say is the bonding among our workers. Because actually, I, to be honest, I scold them, I nag at them, but I don't really treat them like workers. We drink during work together, we drink even after work together. In fact, I don't control them on all these things. I got two bowls of kanji from Davidik, one for myself and one for my wife. And they look pretty damn good to me. And yes, I definitely remember to ask for more ingredients in the all-important egg. Ooh, isn't that awesome? Look at the gooey texture, the amount of ingredients and yes, the bright sunny egg. What can I say? This is the best porridge I've had so far. Just look at my wife, she finished everything. I've employed quite a lot of ex-offenders. Okay, to be honest that many didn't work out. But actually it doesn't concern me how many work out. Out of that so-called how many did I employ, right? 
as I'm very pleased that at least a small percentage of them managed to prove to the society that they work hard and they managed to run the store in good condition. That's what I'm really very, very, very happy of what they are doing. Because this is what, how, how I myself started out. Uh, people sometimes don't trust us, look down on us. But we prove to them. Of course, out of 10, one is not much, but I believe that, that one can influence another one, which is very important for us. Okay, I believe that actually to be a good boss, it all boils down to you being a good worker at first. Because you imagine that one day you become a good boss, you look back, you are training your workers, and you look back, you look at how your workers treat you back. Could you be doing that? Ah, so you have to know that you want to be a good boss, you have to train your workers, you have to hands on, you have to show them how to become a good worker. But of course, you yourself have to be a good worker first. I just hope that the society will accept us because people will just think that we cannot do anything. So I just hope that people will just accept us that we change. It's not a matter of how, when we change or how early or late. As long as we do change, give us a chance to prove to the society that we work hard and just do good and not harm the society or whatever that they think. And here's a quote for you guys out there. If I believe I can, everybody can. As long as we put our heart to it and do well. And this is Devonick and Chris for Singapore One.